afternoon, everyone. Oops. My name is Joni with Weathered Wings, and I am here to encourage you and inspire you to create pretty things, okay? Um, you can do it. You can do all the things, even if you've never picked up a paintbrush. I haven't said that in a while. Even if you've never picked up a paintbrush, you can do all these things because you are creative. You've just got to find what it is that you have a passion for to create, right? Okay, so let me see, let me refresh my page, see if I can find myself. Now I'm going to text my community, and if you would like to be on that as well, um, let me make sure my voice is off. If you would just text, um, text me 205, I thought I had the sheet, I had it here yesterday, 205, Two five five nine four nine six. I'll never know which way to go. Okay, and so I just text whenever we go live, uh, and you know you'll get a notification. Let's see. Oh, that's wrong. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Let me get my link here. So if you want to get notified, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> text me on that number, uh, and then you won't miss um, you won't miss any of the good stuff. Okay. All right. So got that handled. Now I should be on YouTube and Facebook. So hey 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 everybody. Oh I didn't put um, comments on here. Hold on. Let me get live comments. So if you come on, say hello, and. Let me see what you're doing. Hey, Doris and Paula, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so before, um, all right, before I get, uh, before I forget, I want to mention the workshop starts tomorrow. Um, Y'all, so again, we will be doing this church from start to finish over three nights. Okay, let me just put it down this way. All right. Um, this is a 16 by 20 canvas, right? Uh, so, it comes with a stencil. Uh, not a stencil. I drew it. Um, so, I drew a template, and that, that is on the supply list. I will email the template. Um, and so, you don't need that many uh, supplies, y'all. Just a little bit of paint. You can. I use something for texture, for added texture. Um Anyway, that makes great gifts, y'all. And also, my membership, Creative Junkies, is open right now. And it's going to be open through next week. So, several have several people have just joined the membership because the workshops are free, okay? So, if you join the membership, which is still just $26 a month, y'all. Um, and I have added a ton of value in there. There's... There's many, many tutorials in there from like two years. So, um, and you would have instant access to all of those tutorials, instant access to um, the, the best group of women in there. So, um, I would just encourage you if you want to get a little deeper in your creating, uh, we do um, some really good projects a couple of months. And, um, you know, we go step by step and we don't leave anyone behind. So uh, let me know if you're interested. Let me put, um, let me see, let me put the link in here. Okay, so again, um, if you join the membership, the workshop uh, is included, is free. So, so the workshop is $27, all right? The membership is $26, so it's, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's just if you don't like memberships, I guess, but you know what? You can join. You can get out at any time. I mean, there's no contract or anything like that. Um, so, all right. With that said, I think we can move along. Now, I want to show you also, uh, was it yesterday I was on here? Yeah, yesterday. Um, I just wanted to show you the, let's see, yeah, there's, there's several of our, um, junkies on here. Um, so, hey, everyone, hey, 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 Cheryl, hey, Pam, hey, Joy, how's it going? All right, 
So yesterday I tried to finish up this project. I didn't, you know, I still haven't finished my deer, but I wanted to show you the uh, top coat. See how pretty that it, uh, after it dried, how nice and smooth it is. I told y'all about the Paint Couture top coat. Okay, where am I, where am I looking here, y'all? I'm sorry, I'm still not used to this format. Um, but I used the flat top coat, uh, it's Paint Couture. And if you noticed yesterday, it went on kind of white and it was just all over the place. I used different brushes because I was trying to get in and out of all these things. But I just wanted to show you how pretty uh, it turned out. Okay, I told you it was self-leveling, right? And so look how good that looks. It looks really good. I'm really pleased with that. All right, so let's move along. I want to do something just fun today. Let me move this right here. I don't know what I was thinking. I was going <laughs> to... I started um, this pumpkin, okay? Um, just making designs like this. So I want it to look like kind of a sweater. All right. Now, what I used, you, you can use hot glue if you want. Uh, and I may have to go back to that. But I can't stand hot glue. It just, it, and it can't stand me. I mean, you know, it's mutual. So what I did, y'all, um, I took my embossing medium. Okay, this is some embossing medium by Paint Couture as well, which is just a creamy texture. And I put it in a baggie. <laughs> so, and I cut a hole in one of the ends and I actually ended up cutting too big of a hole. So I'm trying to trying not to use that side. But it's kind of like, um, you know, if you had an icing bag, one of those would have been perfect. Uh, hey, um, let's see, who am I missing here? Let me, let me put my glasses on. I think that would help. That would help. Hey, Tony. Hey, Karen. How are y'all? I can't tell, like, who is on. Hey, Shannon. Who's on Facebook? Who's on uh, YouTube? But I love this. I love being able to do, be on both. Hey, Dawn. We, yeah, we actually have some new junkies, Betty. We got to initiate. Um, all right, so look. I've got a little hole right here on um, the end of this little baggie. Now, getting it in here was, you know, kind of messy. It was kind of messy. But the reason I like this better is um, it's smoother. Like with my, with my heat gun, when I do things like this sometimes, um, it gets a little... I don't know, like I can't keep it connected, if that makes sense. And so I'll kind of get a little, it just looks a little bumpy and separated. I don't know. It's fine, and I may have to resort to that if I run out of this. So, and if you don't get it just like you want this, you can, um, it's easier to fix than with hot glue. That glue dries quickly. So, anyway, let me just show you what I have so far. It's just, you know, and I kind of, I'm just doing like uh, dots and then a, some kind of design. So I'm just gonna try to repeat some of this. This is pretty much dry. It would it would smush if I pressed it real hard, but I've had it in front of the fan. But so I'm gonna try to paint this part, but I'll show you how I did it over here, okay? So I'm just gonna back this up. This reminds me of when I did my brick wall in my bedroom because this is how I did the mortar. <laughs> I put it, not in this, I actually got a mortar bag um, and dumped a whole bunch in there. Okay, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to go with this, just the little squiggly line. See if y'all can see it here. See how I can prop this up. I may just hold it. Okay. Let's see. Let me get it good first. All right. Now, I got these pumpkins at Walmart, by the way. Um, I like these pumpkins. Hey, Kelly, because I like um, I like these stems better than any ones I've seen. Hey, Lori. Hey, Linda. How is everyone? All right. Oh. Yeah, Cheryl, they're still going strong. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm just going to start with a zig zigzaggy line for now. Let's see if I can get this 
may be harder when I'm on video. It just goes here. I hope I remember which ones are dry. Probably need to mark something. You could probably put this in a bottle. I'm worried that I'm smushing the other side, so I kind of moved it. Uh, did I? I think I did a little bit. All right, let me show you something real quick, what I was talking about. Okay, I've got to be careful, though, because it isn't totally dry, and I did kind of smush it, but look, I want this more in a V. This is just easier to work with than glue. this somehow. Hold on, how can I mark this? I'm just going to mark it with a pencil because I'm going to paint over it. Just got to mark where I am. Dots are probably the hardest thing, actually. Let me see if there are any questions before I keep moving on. Roll a beach towel and put under the pumpkin to hold it still. Roll a beach towel. Well, I'm a little worried because these aren't totally hard. That's a good idea. I don't have a beach towel right here, but that's a good idea. So even kind of doing it like that, but yeah, let's see. You know what, I'm gonna get a pillow. Hold on, I think there's a pillow over here. Let's see here. This one. Maybe this won't uh, smush it. Let's see. If I still try to hold it. Yeah, I know. I should have gone and gotten an icing bag, but isn't this kind of the same thing? All right. But am I in the camera? No. Y'all used have y'all done these before and used a um used a heat gun? Oh, now I've got <laughs> God. This was doing better earlier. I kind of went in a circle. Let me try to slow my roll a little bit. do this same pattern over here because I don't want to end up with two rows of dots. So I kind of space it out. I'm going to do X's. X's are probably the easiest.
Now, each, sometimes you get a smaller little side. I feel like y'all can't see this. I don't want to do several like this. I just think they would be cute, kind of all. Um, I'm just trying to think of something different with my pumpkins for this year. Uh -oh. All right, see how easy that is? Paula made a hot mess with the glue gun. <laughs> I, I just don't like the glue. It just, ah. Now see, those X's are a lot bigger than these X's. It's just because that little, that fold on the pumpkin was a little bigger. That's okay. And you can also kind of connect these, but I was afraid I'd make a mess. All right. Gonna look good when it's all painted, even though I've never done this before. But you really don't have time to fix anything with the glue gun. I mean, you have a little bit of time, but like my holes getting bigger. And you can always just completely wipe it off, right? If it's not. that and set the bottom. Do one more. I'm trying to keep it little, a little doohickey. Just need to go slow is all. See, that one was perfect. Just got to go slow. Let's see. Oh yeah, you could definitely do that. Definitely do that, Betty. I'm just gonna do it all white. But yeah, I may do another one like that. Um, that'd be a lot of gold leaf if you did it all. You could, what if you just gold leaf the uh, stem? I'm just gonna paint my stem gold. All right, let's see here. Where it would be good to have a um, have it in a little bottle. You see, I did this too, like pressing it down into the pumpkin. <laughs> Karen, uh, yeah, you, that's what I was just saying. You might. I'm using just a baggie, just a baggie, and I've got embossing medium in here. Just because I didn't want to use the, um, you could use the glue, and the glue would be cheaper, of course. But you know what? You could get a joint compound if you wanted something more inexpensive. Um, joint compound, and then a, a, you know, a little icing bag of some sort. All right, what's next? Let's see. Maybe the upside down 
will be. Ugh, that stem's in the way. Let's see what I can do here. Should have practiced some like the little uh, a little squiggly thing would be cute. But this is kind of supposed to be like a little sweater type design. Um, yeah, you decorate cakes and you can do this. Uh, promise, I promise. <laughs> like my bag is gonna gosh I got a lot of this left so I'll be able to use um I thought I was gonna may have to get to the glue gun but I don't think so What I want to do. Um, probably. I'll do the X, I think, because I don't. That's the furthest things away, I think. I'll just do a little X. And get under the stem there. So this will dry hard if it, no one's if you've never used embossing medium joint compound you can find at you know Home Depot Lowe's it comes in a little tub like you can get that for around six or seven dollars um, it's not this smooth but it you know for this it's smooth enough I think just hit something. I felt it. I guess it's okay. This is going to be our sweater pumpkin. <laughs> uh, I do too, Jeannie. I do too. Okay, like, what is that you're using? It's not glue. It's embossing medium. Yep, in a in a plastic baggie. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm so I'm just not being careful. <laughs> okay, now I've got my mark here. here. Alright, so these are the ones that are dry-ish. Dry-ish. Let me see if I can. By the way, if you do the size, any of the, um, the crackle medium size, all that stuff, um, don't use a good brush. <laughs> I've got several sticky brushes. All right, now what color do I want to use? I thought I had it out here. Okay, that's liquid patina. Okay, right here, I'm gonna use B-board. It's our whitest white. 
Um, and I'm using, um, it's DIY paint in the color beadboard. Okay. <sighs> it's okay, Karen. I think, I think Jazzy has taken over it. I bought this pillow, y'all, at, um, uh, at Nordstrom Rack. I forgot the name of it. It's those that are really soft. My daughter loves them. Gosh, I can't think of something. Dreams. Anyway, it was pretty cheap. And so I brought, came out and put it on the couch, and Jazzy got right on it. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So I got it because he just, I don't know, he'll, he'll scratch it trying to make a bed. So I put it over the chair, okay, just a chair. And um, so he couldn't reach it. Well, he kind of got up on the chair and was trying to reach that throw. And he's never done that before. Um, so he really liked it. <laughs> Judy, thank you, thank you. Hey, Corey. How's it going in Vegas? Okay. All right, look, I keep trying to make sure. All right, so I'm just going to paint right over it, y'all. I hope it's dry enough. I may just skip the one that, uh, cause I'd, I'd hate to hit that over there where it's wet. This, I wanted to give you an idea though, what it's gonna look like. Now with hot glue, if you're, you know, if you're, if you like hot glue and you're good with the hot glue gun, um, you know, it dries immediately and you can just go to painting it. sure I'm in the camera good. I don't know why. I'm... So this paint, um, again, I'm using DIY paint and it sticks to just about anything. So I'm, you know, of course I don't have to prime these or anything. Now you could spray paint it. You could spray paint it white. I would make sure that it had a primer in it if you used a spray paint, just because it would stick better. Because a lot of spray paints are acrylic and so they may not stick very well. You know what, I think I'm gonna kind of go this way. put two coats just because it I am using white paint. It's been beautiful here too. It's actually um it's still warm though. You know, I mean you know it's not 95 like it was the other day but it was it's low 80s and you know I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. and then down to make sure I have it all. about the workshop, my membership, this project that I'm messing up because I'm touching it. I'm going to keep it down. Let me see where I did touch it. I did touch it somewhere. I need to fix this one little spot. That's already dry. Never mind. <laughs> I'm doing. 
That's probably where I touched it earlier and I couldn't find it. I'll speed this up. I'll be careful, more careful on the second coat. This, by the way, is what I'm using in the workshop, uh, the embossing medium. But again, you can use joint compound or you don't have to use anything, you know, special. You don't even have to use anything, but sometimes the, the, um, using ch uh, chalk paint you can use enough of that to make texture in your background you could glaze this um, you know after you, you'd have to put a top coat if you glazed it you could um, wax it. You'd have to wax the whole thing though. I might, since it does have all this, I may just spray it. It's just easier when you have something round like this just to spray. And when you have so much, you know, detail on it. Ooh, 70 in Kentucky. That sounds nice though. 70, that's like perfect. Actually, it can be cold for me, but yeah, the mornings are kind of crisp and cool, and then it really heats up. So you have to layer, like right now I'm sweating to death down here. Got to put the air on. But usually my basement down here is a lot cooler, but it's not right now. All right, let's see. So I can't get too much more. I'll just do these two. And you could, you know how, how I always touch a lot of high points when I do some art. You could come and touch each little thing with some gold. But I really just like the white. I think I just like the look of white. Just like a white winter sweater. like that all over. I'll probably take my heat gun. Let's see. Ooh, like this. A minute. There's some big, you don't want this. You don't want a bunch of drips. Just make sure. Yeah, you probably just go back this way. It's a little puddle. No puddles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. I knew I was bound to do that. I got too close. A 
but say it's easy to fix. But keep checking for drips. All I would suggest. And you, you know, I'm gonna do two coats just because you can still see through this a little bit. And it's getting. Now look, if your paint starts getting kind of junk, you know, like just spritz it a little bit. If it starts drying and kind of coagulating, <laughs> just give it a little spritz and you can move it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave that like it is. So that's one coat of paint. Now I'm gonna go with, find another brush real quick. Let's see, I'm gonna probably use several. I'm gonna go with the French Gold. Okay, Paint Couture Stretch Gold. Uh, wait just a minute, please. I did not paint the pumpkin first. Mm -mm, it came like this. It came like this. It actually has this kind of shimmery shimmer on there, but it did come like this. The workshop starts tomorrow, uh, and Karen, you're, you know, since you're in the Creative Junkies, you, you will get the, you can, I'll just ask to join the workshop, and the link is in the Facebook group, Creative Junkies Facebook group. So, I didn't know you had back surgery. Was it, let's see, all right, let's see, that's not the, brush I needed. Are you doing good, Karen? All right, I'm going to use this. Now, you have to stir these metallics up really well because I told y'all the, uh, the it has um, mica powders in there. Now, yeah, this is already gold, but I love this French gold. It's, it's a really, you know, it's just a bright, pretty gold. And it'll be a little shimmery because of the mica powders. All the metallic, all their metallics have mica powders in them. And they are wonderful. So pretty. So you could do copper, that would be pretty. It'd be really pretty, actually. And there's several golds that Paint Couture had. You know, I don't know about silver. I like copper and gold at the, for the fall. there. You cannot. <laughs> you gotta think of what you're doing. I was laying it down over there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to leave it sitting up right here. I can't. Cause I keep smushing it. Is 
anybody use, I bought some uh, polymer clay to make, uh, I want to make some long pen, uh, pencil, pumpkin stems and curl it, you know, curl it. So I bought polymer clay to do that. I think you can do that with that. You have to put it in the oven though and bake it. So you would make it curly and then, um, I mean, you know, you would form it and then put it in the oven. Have any of y'all done that? I keep saying I am and I just haven't. Watch me pick this up in a minute, just forgetting that it's painted. Now I probably will put another coat of this as well, just because this paint is pretty shiny. I mean, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty bright gold and it's, um, you know, the, the stem was kind of dark, and so I'm gonna put another coat on there. Just that, I'm wiping it off. It's actually got black under there, so. Let it dry, and then I'll do it again. And then I'll do the whole, oh, see, I almost picked it up. Then I'll just paint it again. Let me make sure there are no drips. That's good. One good thing though about this paint, um, if if you do have some drips, and it's gonna be it would be hard on this, that's why I'm looking, but if you're painting furniture or something and you happen to get drips, this sands really nicely. So um it's not like some you know, some of those paints, the latex paints where you try to sand it and it just kind of becomes, I don't know, sticky and peels off. Okay, I think that's it for now. Hey, all right, let's see. Can I ask you about your camera and light setup and how you get you and the project? This is a software, um, yeah, for right now, Beth Ann, it's Switcher. Switcher Studio, okay? It's really easy to use. Um, I've just, they changed it a little bit. I had it before and um, my internet wasn't good good at that time. Um, oh, Karen, I'm so sorry. Jeez, two broken discs. Oh my word. Oh, Karen, oh sweetie, I'm gonna be praying for you. Mm. I, there's, ugh, I just, I've heard it's, back pain is terrible. Um, years ago I used, what kind of clay? Fimo. No. Has anybody used the pixie dough clay? Um, Joy says she bought that. It's called Fimo. Is that right? Fimo? I'll have to look that up. Let's see. Where's my pen? I'm going to write that down too. Right here. All right. Sorry. I will forget if I don't write it down. Um, rolling brown paper bag pieces and tape and shaping. Ah, that sounds like a good idea. I should try the clay. So, okay. Yeah, I don't, you know, apparently, I think I saw somebody do it, but this is the clay. Apparently, um, let me see what it feels like. I've never even used it. Let's just look at it real quick. I got this at Michael's. See how hard it is. Oof. It's not like air dry clay. 
You don't see this. I don't know why in my camera I don't I don't see it. Oh, I think it, there's a delay. There's just a delay. Oh goodness. It's not like air dry clay. <laughs> it's kind of um it's kind of it's just harder. Okay. Um so, but I would, you know, out and it's the pumpkins that don't have a cute stem. I would take that stem out. Um, and then you could press it, you know, to make, to glue it in. You may you could just put a pin in there too, or like a toothpick and be able to stick it in there. Or drill a little hole, you know, because it'll be really hard. Um, See, I can just twist it around like this. I'll just have to play with it. You know, you just have to play with it and uh, get it like you want it. But yeah, it just twists around. Jazzy is snoring. <laughs> He's grunting and snoring. But see how that twists around? If you, you could do that with clay as well, but it would, when it dried, um, it would kind of crack. See how cute that would be? You could make it kind of big. Oh, I just touched that. No, I didn't. Um, so yeah, so now I gotta go put this in a baggie. Um, I don't know if it hardens up or not. Um, uh, what is the name? The name of this is, uh, it, you know what? just says polymer clay. Let me just show it to you. It just says polymer clay. There is no name. But I got it at Michael's. They just didn't have, I think this was the only polymer clay I could find. Um, so you like it, Karen? Sculpey. Okay, I've heard of Sculpey. Um, you have seen people use pixie dough? I need to try it. I know the, um, What's her name? Josie. Uh, she owns that company. Let's see. Okay, y'all. I think, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wrap around the pencil. That's a great idea. Absolutely. All right. Okay, everybody. Well, I uh, appreciate you joining me. I'm going to, I almost picked this up by the stem, but okay. I'm going to show you when it's all nice and dry and paint it again, again, um, you, uh, did you go back, if you popped on late, go back and look at the um, piece I did yesterday, the top coat, how nicely it dried, it dried really smooth and clear, because you know, it kind of looked like a hot mess going on, just like I, I always spill this stuff, so, the, the project that I did yesterday. And then I top coated it with the paint couture top coat. Ugh, I have this everywhere. Um, okay, Joy. With the curly cues, heavier wire. I got some of that. Oh, I just wiped paint all over my face. Y'all have not to go. <laughs> I'm getting stuff everywhere. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, You know, I can't tell if, okay, I think I've answered y'all. Martha says you can. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Thank you all very much. And I will see you really soon. Now, don't forget about the workshop. I'd love to have y'all. Um, again, it starts tomorrow. Now, oh, and there's going to be a raffle. I forgot to mention that. Those of you who um, sign up, I am going to have a raffle that will be on the third day of the workshop, which would be Thursday. Um, I'm going to gift away like a mystery box. Mystery box. Um, yay! Tony, so it looks it looks good on uh, YouTube like this. It's okay. All right, that's, that's good to know. I'm trying to get my hours up over there. <laughs> Just, you know, I post videos, but I don't go live, so I thought this, I could do both at the same time. So, have a good evening. I appreciate you all, and I will see you real soon.